Hi guys, this is Mrs. Gassler. If you are having trouble figuring out the numbers of protons, neutrons, and electrons, that's probably why I told you to watch this video. Protons, electrons, and neutrons. Sometimes we abbreviate that as PEN. Protons, electrons, neutrons, pen practice. So you've got these worksheets where you have to find out the numbers of protons, neutrons, and electrons, and probably some other pieces of information. And so what we've got to look at is all those different things. We need to sum those up as best as we can. And then once you have those things summed up, hopefully it gets a little easier. All right, so protons, neutrons, and electrons. Okay, so what you need to know, there's three things that you need to know. You need to know what thing, what numbers should be the same, and then how do you get the rest of the numbers that you don't have. Okay, so the first thing I always look for is the atomic number. Sometimes it's given and sometimes it's not, and if I have it, then I know a couple of other things. I know that the atomic number is the number of protons, and I also know that the atomic number is the number of electrons. Now, uh, I, can't, I can't remember who talked about ions yet. Uh, ions sometimes have different numbers of electrons, but a neutral atom, which I'll make a little note here, has the same number of protons as it does electrons. So those three numbers are equal. So if you know this one, you know those other two. If you know this one, you know those other two. If you know this one, you know those other two. So one of those gets you the other three. So... Once you have those filled out, or maybe you don't have any of those, so you can't do that one yet, then uh, maybe you need this piece of information. The atomic number comes from the periodic table. All you have to do is either look up the element name or the element symbol. So if you have a name or a symbol, you can find it in the periodic table. If you have an atomic number, you can find the element name or the symbol by looking up the atomic number. If you know one of those, you know the other two. Which means if you didn't have the atomic number, but you had an element name, well, now you have a link to get up there. So the element name comes from the atomic number. You get one from the other. So then the last thing that we need is those gosh darn numbers of neutrons. And that comes from the mass number. So the mass number is not the number of protons, it's not the number of electrons, and it's not the number of neutrons, which makes it a little irritating. It is the number of protons plus, and I'm going to try and darken this in as much as I can here, it's plus the number of neutrons. That means if you know the mass number, but you don't know any of these up here, you're going to have to do some subtraction. Actually, you wouldn't know the mass number in not one of these. You'd, you'd need one of If you've got two of these, you'll have to do some mass. So uh, a little side note here, the number of neutrons would be the mass number minus the atomic number, which, again, if you know the protons or electrons, you know the atomic number. And the number of protons would be the mass number minus the uh, number of neutrons. So it just depends on what you have as to what you can get. You just have to know the relationships between these to be able to get them. I do want to write down two notes. The mass number will either is either going to be given or needed. Okay, so you'll either have this and you'll need one of these, or you'll have these and need this. Or maybe you have neutrons and the atomic number, which means you do have the number of protons, so you just have to figure out what they're equal to. The last thing that we have to have to say is that the mass number is not in the periodic table. You can use the periodic table here to get from the mass or the atomic number to the element name or the symbol, but you cannot use the periodic table to get the mass number. It's, it's not in there. Remember, that's the average atomic mass, which is not the same as the mass number, so don't use that one. So make yourself a copy of this. Take your handy worksheet and then just start going through. What do you know? What can you get? Find it on here. Oh, I have the atomic number. That means I can have the number of protons, electrons, the element name, and the element symbol. Oh, I have the number of neutrons and the atomic number. Okay, so then I can get to the number of protons to find my mass number. You can do this. You just have to know what you have and what you need. 
So if you need some more practice or you want to go through some of them with me, make sure you ask. Thanks.